Super excited about the live Doppler. Uh, you guys have been working on it, uh, getting it set up and yep. getting it ready and it goes live. That's the countdown. Yes, tomorrow we are going to have the radar up and you know, seeing inside the storm, we're basically going to explain everything that we've been working on over the past several months and all the investments that we've made, not just for uh, you, the viewers at home, but for the state. And we're gonna share that information with the National Weather Service and all the emergency managers. So it's really a team effort here. Right, it's like one of those, it's kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal, <laughs> kind of yeah. a big deal. So if we all look a little tuckered out, it's because we're excited and we can't wait to show you guys what we've been working That's gonna on. That's be great. So we do have some storms out there right now and they are still out to our north and west. So let's get right to it. We're tracking them on radar. The yellow box you see there encompassing the entire state of Arkansas. That's a tornado watch. Now there has been a, a little over a dozen tornado warnings since early this morning that have been associated with this line of storms, but they expired and there has not been any confirmation of any tornadoes. What there has been confirmed is several hail reports, over 13 hail reports and nine wind reports. So this line of storms has a history of producing anywhere from quarter to ping pong size hail, as well as wind gusts up to 65 miles per hour. So no confirmed tornadoes yet with this line of storms, but there has been confirmed hail as well as some damaging winds. So we're watching it very closely, looking at a lot of lightning. Watch when I pull up the lightning detection system, just how much lightning we're dealing with. In order to have lightning, you have to have ice in the clouds. So the probability of us having some hail along with some damaging wind gusts looks more likely, especially if you go into portions of central Mississippi and extreme northwest Alabama. So that's where we leave us. Slight risk category, anything west of 65, and then we get into that marginal risk category east of 65. So between midnight and 9 o'clock in the morning, we think it's going to pick up right along that Mississippi Alabama border shortly after midnight, and then it should clear the state by 9 o'clock in the morning. Again, looking at damaging winds and anything around quarter size hail, we can't rule out the possibility of a tornado because it's still spring. There's plenty of cold air. The weather features are there. We really have to monitor how this weather evolves throughout the day, the closer it gets to our state, which we'll be doing. So these are your primary hazards, damaging wind and hail again, midnight to nine o'clock. So there's the front. It looks pretty on point as to where the storms are now. So we're going to go with this model run as it gets closer to the state. There's midnight. Notice it starts to enter in, but extreme northwest Alabama having that higher likely for an isolated thunderstorm. And there may even still be a rogue strong to severe storm within this line or maybe even out ahead of it. So that's what we're going to be looking closely at. That's four o'clock in the morning, almost right along I-65, eventually clearing the state once we get to about eight or nine o'clock in the morning. Here's your seven day forecast. 85 your high today. Storms in the morning starting at midnight across the state and then clearing out and then more weekend storms ahead as well. You